When you're this far north, you learn early how to take the edge off the winter. This far north. They've also long pushed to take the edge off inequality. They prioritize the plowing of sidewalks when it snows here because women are more likely to walk or take the bus than men who are more likely to drive. It's the result of so-called gender responsive budgeting, a way of looking at the landscape of government spending to ensure it's distributed equally. And I think that something that was very challenging or was very difficult to understand 20 years ago is now totally natural. Sweden has never been ranked lower than fifth in the world when it comes to equality. In fact, in the overall picture, it's managed to close the gap between men and women by more than 81%. Last year, it was ranked first in the world in terms of the number of female ministers sitting in this parliament, including the finance minister who agreed to sit with us to talk budgets. Hello, minister. When it comes to governments pushing equality, almost no tool is more powerful than their budgets. A gender analysis of budget plans is mandatory for all the ministries in Sweden's self-described feminist government. Gender budgeting will never solve the problem if there is not a political will. But a combination of a political will to change society and gender budgeting, then you can do changes. One of the bolder changes, adding a month of parental leave specifically for fathers that can't be shared, aimed at getting more men to shoulder more of the time away from work. But I think solutions like that, so that we can actually um, make it very easy for people to actually be equal as parents and make it a bit difficult to choose, you know, the maybe easier way out. Etta's parents have been splitting available leave in half to take care of her. Well, I sort of felt that was my right to do. It's like uh, bringing up a kid in, the, in Sweden today, you have the right to be at home with them. So do these measures work in fostering more equality? Long before the government looked at budgets with a gender lens, the Swedish women's lobby did. And while they do see improvements, they see lots of gaps in income and work conditions, for instance. We have um, analysis of what are the background, the causes for the gaps that we have, uh, but we are still trying, you know, for that last step, which is like, where are the reforms that are going to close those gaps? So even this far north, even this far ahead of most of the world, there's still much more work to do. Nala Ayed, CBC News, Stockholm.